All right, guys. Today I'm going to talk about real-time 3D scanning module. So let's start. Actually, uh, this module have three parts. One is offline without reference plane images. So what does it mean that we don't need reference images for this module? So if we have phase shifted fringe pattern images of just an object, so we can scan that object using this module. We don't need reference images in this case, and we don't need actual parameter of the setup. So we will just use with the height of the uh, the area covered by camera uh, image and this, the roughly estimated parameter of the skew and scale. So with the help of these four parameters, we can uh, extract 3D point cloud data from 2D images. And uh, the second is offline with reference images. So off offline means that we don't need uh, to to run camera in this case. Offline means that if we have images, we can scan using those images. We don't need any kind of real time stuff. So in this case, we will need a reference images plus object images. So now, uh, for example, if we are going to scan with seven step uh, fringe pattern images uh, using this uh, algorithm, then we will need seven object images and seven reference images plus one uh, textured image. So in this case, we can extract accurate uh, measurements of the of the constructed object, and because we will put the uh, actual parameter of our setup in this module, for example, L, D, and P, and width and height. So I have already explained what is L. L is the working distance between the reference plane and the uh, projector and camera lens. And D is the distance between the projector and camera. P is just a picture of a uh, fringe pattern image. So in this case, we need actual parameter of the setup and reference images. Then with the help of that, those uh, parameters uh, and uh, object images and reference images we uh, can extract 3d point cloud in 2d 3d point cloud from 2d images yeah okay the third uh, module is a uh, real time scanning so in this module you can scan uh, any object in a real time so what does it mean that for example, uh, if you want to scan any object and you want to scan multiple patches, uh, then you can use this module. In this case, you will need a camera and projector and the projector and camera will run in real time. So real time uh, projection of fringe patterns images and real time capturing of those images. Um, and you can align the scanned images in real time so and it also uh, have two uh, methods to scan so if you enable real time it, it will say okay without reference images and with reference page so what you are going to do so you are going to use uh, ref reference images or not so if you select without reference images so it will only enable these three parameters it will not enable this module so if you scan with the reference images, you have to give reference images and which method you are going to use. And after that, you need to generate the patterns and, you know, live scanning and start the camera and, uh, camera and uh, enable the patterns. So I have already explained and maybe uh, in next videos, I will explain okay, how to uh, scan real time using this module. So today I am just uh, gonna talk about offline scanning and without reference images. So in this case, I'm not gonna use reference images. 
I'm only gonna use object images. Here is a step-by-step -step procedure. Okay. So this uh, image actually describes uh, that the red colored images, the red colored steps are for with the reference images and blue color steps are for without reference images. What is step one? Step one is a Gaussian nice smoothing. So do you want to use uh, Gaussian nice uh, onto the fringe pattern images or not? So maybe your images uh, could be a little nicey and uh, you can use it a uh, little, you know, three. So three is uh, uh, actually uh, matrix number okay the second step is which algorithm you want to use for unwrapping phase alg uh, algorithm so voltage g the third step is open the seven step fringe pattern images so if we go to documents real 3d scanner sample human okay it is going to import seven images of only object images and plus structure uh, textured image it is not gonna import these seven reference images okay import okay and the next step is first step is the width and height of the uh, skin object so it means that how much actually um, area covered by the camera in millimeter so it is a, a pixel to millimeter ratio so in this video uh, in this uh, case our width is uh, 480 millimeter by 360 millimeter so the images pixels are covering these uh, uh, area in millimeter the fifth method is adjust skew and scale so you can oh okay the sixth step is start point cloud data so maybe you can first start point cloud data so vertical images yes it was a vertical images okay the object is like that it is scanned and now we you we need to play with skew and scale so you can see actually if you make a skew like that and scale 18 so like that so you can say that it's pretty good and now you can uh, play with the render and how much dense point cloud do you want so maybe two and if Mm, you see a little bit of rotated pet rotated uh, um, scan point cloud you can play a little bit with this one maybe in x direction or y direction and z direction it is a little rotated uh, it is not seems to be rotated it looks good maybe in 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 maybe maybe in x direction a little bit yeah right there okay now it looks good and now you can press on triangulation and the object will be converted into triangular you can press shading on shading off you can see that and The, if you are satisfied with the skew and scale and the object looks perfect so you can turn it off and now your object is finalized and if you want a little, little bit smoothing so you can smooth your uh, object yeah now it looks good turn on the turn off the colors yeah it looks good Okay, you can export any.
12y or whatever so here is the procedure uh, to extract 3d point cloud data using uh, first method without reference images so i'm gonna talk about uh, with reference in, in my next video okay see you guys in next video